Bonsoir l'Afrique du Sud, il fait 18h52, vous êtes le bienvenu sur South Africa tonight. Hilton Mulwang has named a 15-member squad for the upcoming T20 Women's World Cup that's been held right here in South Africa. Dene Fanikak has been left out of the group after not meeting CSA's fitness requirements. The pro tiers have their opening match against Sri Lanka in Cape Town on the 10th of February. Uh, in uh, Cape Town, of course, as I mentioned, at Newland Stadium. And joining me to talk about the competition position of the squad and the upcoming World Cup is Vice Captain Chloe Tryon. Uh, good evening, Chloe. Thank you for your time. It must be a massive blow, firstly, to lose experienced players like Dene Fanikak and Dumi Sekukune from the squad. Sekukune will be a non-traveling reserve, uh, but Fanikak's exclusion must be a difficult one for the team to swallow. Yeah, obviously it's really tough. Um, you know, a player like that, you always want in your team. Um, so yeah, obviously it's very unfortunate for us. But um, you know, the depth that we have in the team is really good. I think we've got a lot of experience, um, a lot of youngsters that are coming in now. Um, so it's really exciting to see how they go out. But you know, we're gonna control what we can at the moment. We've got a series of we got to finish up in East London and then get into the World Cup. So it's a really exciting time for us. All right, there are no new faces in the squad, so that means everyone is familiar with each other and the level of cricket required of them. What role, um, you know, will experience play at this World Cup? Uh, it'll be good, though. It'll be exciting because we've got a lot of youngsters that are, are looking to, um, you know, take a spot up in the team. And we've got a lot of experience that have, have been helping the group a lot, you know, especially preparation for the World Cup. So um, it's going to be really exciting for us. But... Right now, we just want to finish our series up here. I've got a final against um, India on the second. Um, and then obviously travel into um, to Cape Town and start our World Cup preparation. So it's really exciting for us. I just think that we're going to take it one one game at a time. Uh, we really want to win this World Cup um, and especially hosting in the country. It's going to be super exciting. Love to hear that, Chloe. Leadership is going to be vital. What have yourself and uh, Sinai has focused on as critical factors in your approach to the World Cup? I think the biggest part for us is is not uh, is getting to semi-final and, and not getting over that line. I think we, we struggle with that, um, not just in T20 in the 50 over game as well. So I think for us, it was just small things that we needed to to make sure that we do properly, um, especially in every game we play. We want to get into the semi-finals comfortably and you know, we don't want to leave games to the end. So just making sure we start really strong um, in all aspects, batting, bowling and fielding. And um, just making sure when we get to that semi-final, that we kind of leave everything out there. Um, we don't want to just fall, fall short again. Um, and I think that's one of the biggest things. And I think most of the girls are obviously, most of them have been there and were there um, when it's happened. So, you know, just rectifying those small mistakes we made um, previously. In that same breath, Chloe, your opening match will be against Sri Lanka. How important will it be to get off, um, you know, on a winning start? And what are those challenges that you face to not overcome the hurdle of the semi-final into the final? Yeah, Sri Lanka is obviously going to be a big match for us in Cape Town. Um, we're hoping to get a really good crowd out there. But um, I think for us, just making sure we start off really strong, um, kind of making a little bit of a statement in the World Cup would be really key for us. Um, so just making sure we do that. Um, and, um, yeah, basically, like I said, it's it's going to take every game. But, you know, it's the team that shows up on the day um, that wins the game and plays their best cricket. So it's just making sure that we, we do that in the semifinal when we do get there. Um, and just making sure that on our way there, um, we're pretty confident in our games um, as individuals, as a group. And we're kind of still keeping as close as possible, kind of like tight locked and making sure that we're playing really hard. Um, but um, yeah, like I said, game at a time. Uh, we don't want to think too much to semifinals and finals. I just make thinking about making sure that we, we kind of tick off our boxes as much as we can leading up into that. Chloe, how special is it to be the host nation and how are you guys dealing with that pressure? Uh, it's, I think most of the team is excited. Uh, obviously, we got to watch the under-19 girls, and I think they played great cricket. Um, you know, we, we hosted that now. So it was so nice. Unfortunately, we couldn't get through. Um, but I think they played incredible cricket. And to 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 have that, we want to grow the women's game. Uh, we're excited to have it in our country. Um, we just we want to grow the women's game. We want to go cricket in South Africa. And I think this is um, the perfect platform for us. Um, it will be even sweeter if we win the World Cup. So I think just taking in the moment, I, I don't think it's sunk in as much yet. I think it will sink in after our first game. But I think um, just dealing with every emotion that comes with it and, and just putting our best, best foot forward and just making South Africa proud. 
Well, Chloe, congratulations on making the squad for the World Cup and all the best to the ladies. Uh, South Africa will definitely be in your corner. That was Pro Tiers woman vice captain Chloe Tryon. Uh, just after the announcement of the T20 World Cup squad, they'll be opening up their match against Sri Lanka next week in Cape Town.